Hello, I'm Laura Carlson, Creative Memories Independent Advisor in Alma, Arkansas. I um, wanted to jump on and share with you an idea to do a flip-flop card. Um, I am doing a flip-flop crop coming up, and I was just interested in ways to incorporate that idea. And it's basically using a blank card kit and our custom cutting system rectangle with the red blade. Uh, like I said, a blank card that is um, strategically cut. And then you can use cardstock and designer paper, embellishment stickers to complete it. But what you're gonna have is a, a one piece card that can flip open and show a photo or another message. So it's kind of a, a take on an easel card because it will, will once it's open, you can have it like this. Um, the other variation is opening this way. So I made this for our Father's Day card um, with our stamps for the sentiment and just easily opens and you can have it on your desk or to store it away, just fold it. So what you will need is your blank card. And when you have your blank card opened, it will measure five and a half by eight inches. And you will center it up onto your card one inch from each edge and a quarter, one and a quarter inch from the short edges. And that will center your template pretty well. And then you will um, score and cut just the U-shaped portion and you will lift your blade at three and a half inches from each side. So this measures three and a half inches here and going in from three and a half here. It leaves you a portion that will allow you to have this function on the, the card when it folds. So I've already done the measurements, three and a half in, scored it, cut it, um, put the two pegs right into the groove of the template and, and cut and then lifted it up and then went back down, cut again, lifted it up. And so then you just have to play with it a little bit because you'll want the edge to this edge, you'll want to come to the edge over here. So when you've done your cut and then you place this like so, and then you simply press the remainder portion of the card down and it should cover up the end portion of your rectangle. So there you have your cut. And then for embellishments, I kept it very simple. I did one and a quarter inch strip and then I overlaid a one inch strip. So here's one and a quarter with a one inch strip overlaid it. And here's that. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that on. And you'll start seeing the, the card take shape. Um, you can uh, make it for so many things coming up. This is kind of reminds you of barbecue and outdoors. So if maybe you even wanted to make a special invitation. Um, so here it's starting to take shape. I have um, done it without doing a mat, but I um, since we have the template and it's so fast, I went ahead and, and cut two and I'm gonna use an alternative color flip here and then that this one there. So we just keep on adhering those items. And for the sentiment on this one, I think I'm gonna use a mat out of our new summertime mats. And it adds a little more color and it's super quick if you're just looking to streamline the process a little bit. Again, you can put your adhesive onto the mat or directly onto the, the card. And I don't have a picture picked out for this just yet, but I did have the mat from summertime that I think I wanna use. And this is about three quarters inch here, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut um, on my trimmer to get uh, the same distance. Um, and bottom and then I'm just going to use my corner rounder since I already have the the corners kind of the rounded theme going on with my I'm just going to 
better to have it too big than too small, I guess. But I'm going to go back around and get it to fit just a little better. I thought I had looked at that, but it was on a different formatted card. So we will just trim it all up a little bit and do that same process. And this will be a completed card ready to go at a photo. And of course, our mats are double sided, so wouldn't that be cute as well? So, summertime. So, you open it up, you put your photo there. So, here's uh, three samples of cards. This is with our um, secret box paper and the summertime mats. This is um, Homestead Collection uh, stickers and um, cardstock. Um, I actually made this card with that, um, just measuring five and a half by eight, and then those measurements to complete it. Um, and this was another card, just modified um, using our, actually this was National Scrapbook Day sticker, along with some homestead, and then our stamps, and um, corner rounder for my photo, and then use the, the template for the, the cardstock. So, beautiful cards, fun idea, flip-flop interactive um the tools again was your custom cutting system corner under possibly red blade and your blank card so happy scrapbooking and let's see what you guys can create with a flip flop card <laughs>